Uh, students range from the age of 12 to about 13, and they have, do, they have been doing a, such a tremendous job at the stage. I mean, we see the incorporation of local products, and this is something that we usually talked about every single year. Of course, I have been judging this competition from over 26 years now. I missed one year. And uh, to see how it's involved and how it's developed, right. it's just amazing. It's just amazing. I'm Debbie Wheeler. I'm the test kitchen, kitchen manager for Riviana Foods and Mahatma Rice. And I'm here this year for the 27th annual Young Chefs Competition. Today we did the juniors. And I have to say, um, the theme this year is incorporating indigenous Bahamian ingredients. And these students did an amazing job. We also were encouraging fusion of flavors along with the ingredients and I've had some ingredients that I can personally have never had before in my life and that students worked very hard worked on their nutritionals this year they were much better knife skills um, we had a couple of little cutting accidents but that's in every kitchen so we're going to work this year uh, coming to try to improve that with the students on their knife skills but overall an amazing day um, the students did amazing food. I'm standing with Ramaya Ingram from Inagua All Age. Can you please tell me about your dishes that you prepared today? Okay. Uh, my flower dish is a guava benny upside down cake served with dilly ice cream and guava gooseberry relish. And my rice dish is a kicking beef rice kebab served with creamy coconut papaya soup. My first dish, which is my rice dish, is a steamed crawfish crusted island grown vegetable rice on watermelon salsa topped with fried crispy carrots. And my second dish, which is my flower dish, is a tropical fruit lava ginger cake filled with summer fruit sauce topped with the watermelon cream cheese and minted chocolate. Oh, well, I'm very impressed by what I see here. Uh, the students have done an excellent job of taking products that we either grow local, locally or use extensively locally and preparing uh, dishes that not only um, appear to be attractive but also will help us to develop a food industry because um, when we use the things that we have around us in our eating then it creates a demand around those foods and in doing so we could um, actually build an economy around food. And if you think about it, food is really at the essence of what people want in life. I mean, you work hard and do all these things so that you can have the food and the nourishment you need for sustaining life. And so the fact that we are using food, not only in this creative way, um, from a aesthetic point of view, and I'm sure it's tasty, although I didn't taste any yet, um, but we're also using it um, to you know, help us with our national development. Uh, my name is Sarah Brennan. I'm from Grand Bama East End Junior High School. My tropical cake, it contains every, basically, a lot of the fruits that grow on Sweden's Key, where I live in East End, which is guava, tamarind, mango, and coconut. And the rice, well, you know, fishing and do, going out in the boat, that's our main source of income, so I was able to get conch and lobster and also fever grass, which I grow right in the back of my house, and pumpkin, which we grow. My name is Kristen Ingram. I attend Preston H. Albury, and this is my rice dish. This is a, a cassava rice with um, honey conch. This is my um, flower dish. This is zucchini cake, guava and diddy delight with a marshmallow topping. Hi, good afternoon. It's a pleasure to come uh, to see this uh, Young Chef competition. Um, I understand some 20 years old, okay, 27 years uh, in the making. Um, and of course, we know that a lot of, uh, of our premier chefs would have passed through this kind of program. So this is certainly a very worthwhile uh, um, competition. Uh, I'm very excited to see uh, what the kids have done and just looking uh, at the presentations that are here. Uh, they are very, very uh, professional, I would say, uh, and I'm, I'm actually a little bit surprised at the, at the, the level of uh, uh, presentation that, that they have. I'm interested in tasting some things. I, I had an opportunity to sample something already that is kind of unique, uh, and I won't say what that is, um, but, uh, but it shows the creativity of our young people um, and what, what is possible once we expose them and give them the opportunity.
Yesterday we are here at Anatole Rogers High School and we were able to experience the, se the senior segment of the 27th annual Young Chef competition. And today was a, the best of the 27 years that I've been judging the competition to see and to experience the array of flavors, textures, and very impressive was the, the use of indigenous products that are found in the family islands. And to see that these kids were able to really focus on the theme this year, which, which is infusion. And it was amazing to see how they take, took the local, local grown products in the islands and really infuse it. And these dishes, if you see it, you will see it they are international standards. So hats off to the coaches, the parents, and of course the students who work so hard to produce these very, very fine, unique Bahamian indigenous dishes. Hi, my name is Lenique Saunders. I'm 12 years old and I represent Mangrove Key High School located in Andres. Yes, I'm supposed to be in the junior competition, but yesterday I got injured, so I couldn't do that. But it's okay. Accidents are prone to happen. But today I participated in the senior competition, and what I made today, some of the dishes were called mangrovian chewed rice. This rice was inspired by some mangrovian herbs and like stuff native to mangrove key. And then I cooked really guaffle balls. I cooked this with two kinds of two kinds of flour actually. I used whole wheat flour and wheat flour. And the ne the original name was really guaffles, but they wouldn't come together so I crumpled them up into a ball. And that's where the name really guaffle balls were born. Good day, I'm Ashanti Taylor. I'm from San Salvador High School. And my dish today was a nutty shrimp coconut risotto and a kenai gooseberry pumpkin coconut meringue pie. Why the choice of coconut? Is it freely available on your island? Yes, it is. And the coconut milk took the spot of the actual coconut. And I use some gooseberry that gives it a sour, sweet taste. Do you have any secret ingredients in your dish? Um, my secret ingredient was the pumpkin. Um, I pureed it with some coconut chunks for the pie. Could you tell me about your dishes that you've prepared today? Today, for my flower dish, I made a guava and mango souffle with a just a regular coco loco ice cream and for my rice dish i made dough from the rice after i grind it up a rainbow slaw curry thunder and a plantain typhoon i prepared a layer of ginger and kalaloo rice layered with stone crab and scrim by sponsored by mahatma rice my flower dish was a upside down vegetable cake what was your experience like in the kitchen? Because this is your first time in a competition like this. The experience was, I had a little challenge at the beginning. I got a little cut on my hand. But you know the devil will rise, but he will not prosper. It's exciting to see how far the students has come from, from the day when we first started. I know it's been about 25 years or so. And to see where they came from, from then to now, and the technologies, the terminologies, the indigenous products, and how they're thinking, it's really great. And I think culinary in the Bahamas is really on the upscale, and I think now we can be proud of our young chefs, our young future chefs. Today I prepared a rice dish and a flour dish. My flower dish is a inagua servant of burger served with a, a jus tamarind sauce and a mango berry slaw. Um, in my flower dish, I use two indigenous meat from Great Inagua. One is a donkey meat and one is a shell meat, which is wilts. On the side of my burger, I accompany with a, a jus tamarind sauce and a mango berry slaw.
my rice dish, I made a tropical, tropical, tropical triple treat. In the dish, I used one of our native um, fruit, which is gooseberry, beets, and pumpkin. What type of dishes did you prepare for us today, seeing that this is your first time being in the senior competition all round? My dishes are uh, avocado and lobster kebab with uh, ginger, guava and ginger aioli. And my my flower dish is uh, sweet potato passion with uh, passion fruit sauce with toasted almonds. Hi, my name is Alyssa Swain. I'm from Ambuco, I think. Patrick J. Battle High. Okay, my dish is a steamed lobster and rice and a piece of rice spatzel. What I did with my dishes, I manipulated rice and flour. I turned my flour into rice and my rice into flour. Everything that I served on my dish was found locally. I didn't know that the competition would have been this stiff, but I managed to execute my dish well, I'm standing here with our contestant from Exuma. Could you please introduce yourself to the Bahamas? My name is Rashad McKinsey from Ellen Coakley High School. I understand that this is your first time in the competition this year. What was your experience like in the kitchen? My experience was very uh, unique in a way. It, this being my first time, like you said, I, I didn't really know what to understand. I mean, to expect in the kitchen. But when I reached now and I got in my groove, I competed and did what I had to do. My coach's name is Dominique Ballard, and my dish names are a tropical rice crepe with a cocoa plum sauce, and I also did a fish cake with a seafood snapper alveoli and a tomato sauce. Hello, world. Hello, Bahamas. My name is Tatiana Major. I am from Old Bight High School in Kett Island. My dishes were an exotic seafood Avocado dough delight filled with watermelon barbecue conch. Um, it was it was in it was plated in it was plated in a rosemary pumpkin soup, and it but I topped it off with a uh, fried papaya. I'm standing here with our five-time participant, Mr. Lebrano McVeigh. Good day. My name is Lebron Murphy. Like she said, I am in the 12th grade. Uh, I am in, I'm also at Anatol Rogers High. Today I prepared for you a Robin Hood flower, um, Johnny, Johnny Gate, Metamorphosis. And uh, I have for my rice dish, I prepared my heart, my rice, John Canoe, Seafood, Melody. In the kitchen, you are very rhythmic with the pre preparation of your meal. Are you a dancer? Um, I wouldn't say I am a dancer, but I like to dance based off of the tradition of my family. They love Jonkunu, and that just calms me down inside the kitchen when my mind get too when my mind get too full. Um, each year I come in this competition, like he said, I was in it for five years. Each year I come, I work hard, I strive harder. Early early mornings, late nights, I try my best and not to give up. But after this competition, I want to further my education inside college, at least to get my bachelor's for for four years in culinary arts and if I move further to get my master's and become an executive chef I want to come back to the Bahamas and get to get the Bahamas up to Pacific level where we can one time I'm um, soon have a five star restaurant over here that will be run by me. is creatively embracing indigenous food through innovation for sustainable development. It has been an amazing week for our family islands and new province of Pelagos. From Monday, we were exposed to skills and techniques that refuel the stock and some and gave new experiences for others like myself. Then it was time to showcase these skills we would have learned from the long practices, 
testing recipes and pairing ingredients to fuse the right flavors together, I must say it was all worth it. Despite the setback and failures, we all came true to the finish and we must give ourselves a round of applause for that. Embracing indigenous foods through innovation for sustainable development encourages me. It leads me to believe that we have a future generation of young people who are equipped with the necessary knowledge and tools to practice and encourage healthy eating habits as well as an appreciation for the need to develop a locally sustained food industry. The Bahamas since signing on to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, have been committed to achieve all of them by the year 2030. National champion for 2019, young chef is Miss Kristen Ingram. with our junior winner, Miss Kristen Ingram. Um, hi, I'm, I attend Preston Aubrey High School. At this moment, I am very proud of myself and I feel very overwhelmed. I also want to thank my teacher, my coach, Miss Tamika Raman, and others who inspired me to come in the culinary arts. Miss Raman, how do you feel today about winning and bringing back the trophy to Eleuthera? I am so ecstatic. Words cannot express how I am feeling right now. I'm shocked, but also grateful and very proud of Kristen. I am standing here with our senior winner, Miss Anthony Thompson. Hello, and I am from Sea Walker. I am also the second place senior division for this year and last year I came third overall in the Cupcake Wars and first in the New Providence District. And I would like to thank my mom, Georgia Thompson, my teacher and my coach, Miss Rachel Scron, and my mentor, Chef Elijah Bo from Great Cliff. They really pushed me a lot.
long restless nights. It paid off having her at Greycliff late hours, 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning, having to go and pick her up and then school first thing in the next morning. Yes, and I'd like to thank uh, Miss Strawn because she was there every step of the way. Along with the long nights and the hard work, and it really paid off. And Chef Bo, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how grateful we are to him. Yes, he was very instrumental in this achievement today. I like to be around chefs. Now listen, let me let you know. They asked me to MC this program. I am not a reading on the paper. That's not me. So if y'all want me to go home now, please tell me, because I have to be me. That's okay? Do I have permission? All right. Now all week there's been stress. So there shouldn't be no stress this morning. I want everybody to take a deep breath in. Come on. And let it out. I'm standing here with Mr. Rez Davis Nixon from the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture. Hi, how you doing? I am fantastic. I had a great day today. Uh, today was just, um, I think, epic in that this, well, this is my first time being the mistress of ceremonies for such an auspicious occasion. I just want to commend the Ministry of Education, uh, all the coaches, all the fine teachers, and of course, these junior and senior young culinary chefs. I think we are in good hands looking forward. I was able to go yesterday to the competition and look and observe for myself and see them at work in the kitchen. Uh, they were poised. They um, some looked a little nervous, but they still had they still had it under control. And just to see the creations, uh, it made my mouth water. I wanted to eat and sample everything that I saw. It's a pleasure really to be here at this 27th uh, culinary competition. Uh, the kids have been very very competitive. I understand from the dishes, I missed the dishes, uh, uh, that they were excellent. And I want to congratulate the winners uh, in the junior as well as the senior competition. I'm standing here with our chief judge, Chef Edwin Johnson. Can you please give me some more insight of your experience in the competition, seeing that you've been judging for about 26 years? Well, you know, like I said, um, this competition is my baby. I was here from day one. 27 years ago and um, I was so amazed today for the past these past two weeks to see the young kids their performance and how they were able to um, uh, use the indigenous products from their islands and 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 really step out of the box and it was amazing it was amazing to see the the, the marriage of flavors and and textures and uh, and, and the ingenuity of, 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 of their uh, um, local products. I mean, donkey. I mean, I, I enjoyed that donkey meat. That was so fabulous, you know. And um, the, one of the other most important thing too is to see the, the, the health conscious um, um, alerts with these kids where they're able to focus on the nutritional aspect of the product. And, and that is so, so important as well.